Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe from the Text Logs, and today I want to talk to you about how to force Android applications to stay open, no matter what, in most circumstances, to just stay in the memory so that way they don't close. Particularly, as you can see what I have on the screen here, I was having a problem with VM Lite VNC server closing out on some of my Androids. Now this phone right here is an LG Volt and I linked this to Amazon before for you guys because I thought it was a nice up-to-date track phone with Lollipop on. It wasn't too expensive. It's like 40 bucks if you pick it up used on Amazon. I'll leave it in the description to buy it if you are interested in it. And it's really not bad. The only problem with it is it's not keeping apps open for me in the background, particularly VM light VNC server. Even though I just did this on my LG Volt because it had this particular problem, I am thinking about doing it on all my money-making Androids, Moto G third generations, even the nice powerful ones, because if I was away and I'm remote accessing my devices, I need VM Lite VNC server to stay open at all costs. Otherwise, I have no outlet to control the phones. I guess I could have a second backup like MobaZen, but still, I want a, a command in the system that says do not close this under any circumstances because if vm light vnc server closes then my only channel to making money with that particular device dissipates so very important it stays open while i'm away in order to keep making money so in this tutorial i just want to go over with you guys how i fix this to prevent any uh, mishaps when i'm trying to remote access this thing from from a far distance so the first things you need to do are download a few apps and I'll have the links to these apps in the description. First you have to download Auto Memory Manager, ES File Explorer, if you haven't already, that's a pretty useful app to have on your phone, and VM Lite VNC Server obviously if that's what you're doing this with. So the first thing you gotta do is go to Auto Memory Manager. And in this case, we're trying to find VM Lite VNC Server. You have to option click on your bottom bar. On this Volt, it's hold down the uh, the square button and then that's your option click on here. It's also in pretty much the same position. It'll look like a hamburger menu icon on other phones and go to running processes and click list. Now as long as you have the app open in the background, it's going to appear on this list. So as you can see, there it is VM Lite VNC server. So I'm just going to click that and go to process details. You need to save that process name. Make sure you write it down or you take a screenshot or something because you're going to need to type that in exactly into ES File Explorer in a particular file within the system. So once you have that process name written down, go ahead, go back. And this time we're going to go to ES File Explorer. I was going to do this on Root Explorer, but then a buddy showed me how to do it on ES File Explorer. And that's good because I didn't want to have you guys to have to pay for another app. It just wasn't necessary because Root Explorer costs money on the Google Play Store. So anyway, go ahead and open up ES File Explorer. All right, so once you've opened ES File Explorer, the next thing you have to do is go to your sidebar and go down to Tools, the very bottom, and make sure you have Root Explorer on. So make sure this little option is ticked and then click Root Explorer. And what you want to do is click Mount Read Write R slash W and then click all of these to read write, including the root. I believe you need root access to do this, obviously, because we're going to be going into the system path, which is in the root directory. Once you're done with that, click OK. Now head over to home page on your sidebar and that would be under local. And then click the disk in the top left corner here. Once you click on the disk, click over until you get to your root directory. So it'll be the one that's just a forward slash. And then scroll down until you see system. And then in the system folder, there's going to be a build.prop file. Click that and go ahead, click ES note editor. So within this file, you got to go to the very bottom. And here you need to type something just like this. As you can see, I've already done it on this phone because this is my LG Volt that had the problem of VNC just not working after I would close it out. So it's sys.keep underscore app underscore one equals and then the name of the process that we got from the auto memory manager app. It's very important that you put that in exactly or this is not going to work. Then all you have to do is save this file, go back, reboot your phone, 
and that app that you needed to force to stay open that wasn't staying open on whichever Android you got, in my case, it's an LG Volt, will stay open. And now VM Lite VNC server does not close under any circumstance. I guess it would close if the memory ran out and the phone was going to crash otherwise, but you might as well make use of it. I mean, if, if VM Lite VNC server is not going to stay open, it's going to be completely useless as far as remote access goes. All right, so I hope this episode was helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. And so that way you will make more than what you started with. So then I'll spin 100 times, and then I'll test the waters again and make sure it's still a good uh, win-lose ratio. Then I'll spin another 100 times, test it to make sure everything's still good. And then sooner or later, after I test it, 